Again, we, we just had Mass here in this holy place. This is the main entrance to the uh, Basilica of the, Ag of the Agony, or the Church of All Nations. Uh, this evening, when we come back from 8.30 to 10.30, we're going to be in this private garden over here. It goes back, I guess, approximate, approximately 100 yards, 100 yards deep and maybe like uh, 50 yards wide. And there are hermitages up there. There's a salon that uh, Father Giorgio uh, had built, and, uh, and then also a, a chapel with the Blessed Sacrament. And so we'll have time to spend in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament and also just to do uh, some limited walking because it will be dark, but just to spend some time here in the Garden of Gethsemane that was so precious to the Lord Jesus. One van has uh, dropped half of our group. Oh, here comes the other van now. And we'll be spending two hours here in Gethsemane. Oh, here comes the pilgrims from the second van. St. John Vianney Hall, which is this first structure right here. I believe that, no, maybe not. Yes, maybe we are. We're in the Garden of Gethsemane, looking across Kidron Valley to the old city of Jerusalem. It's almost 9 p.m. So 9 p.m. is uh, one of the times when they have the call to prayer, obviously, as we can hear the from the mass.
bikes there. Beautiful valley below. And then on the other side of the valley we see the church of John the Baptist. This is where we'll be having mass later. This is the, the church of the visitation.
complex, whoops, the complex of the uh, St. John the Baptist Church. to our pilgrimage. Uh, Father Solana pointed out that in this statue of our Blessed Mother and the, the Child Jesus, we see Jesus with his arms open wide, welcoming the pilgrims as they, as they come here. And then he pointed out that the statue on top of Notre Dame with Our Lady and the Child Jesus, Jesus is, is pointing to go forth. And so we have been welcomed we have received and now we have to uh, go forth and share from from what we have received because what we received was not just not just for us uh, but for um, for others as well this has been an, I believe a, a truly remarkable pilgrimage from a lot of different perspectives but the Lord has richly um, poured out his graces upon us and and now it's up to us to receive those treasures and not to bury them, but to uh, invest them, not only for our own spiritual good, but for the good of others. So we thank our Blessed Mother for her intercession, and for St. Joseph and our guardian angels and patron saints as they accompany us on this journey of faith. Uh, may this experience that we experience together be a part of our lives always, now and forever. Amen. Yeah. 